Hello, in this video we are going to talk about uh, style when writing code. This has nothing to do whether um, with your code is correct or not, it's about how it's written and how easy to understand it is for other programmers. So over the years uh, developers have been um, agreeing on some conventions how things should be done and uh, in particular for Python there is a document that talks about this which is called PEP8. So there is a website which is called pep8.org that has a summary of this document, PEP8, which is a Python enhancement proposal. And it tells you how things should be done. And um, so if you navigate here on the left, you see the sort of things they talk about. It's about indentation. I mean, the white space you have at the beginning in, uh, in four loops and, and things like that. When you should put blank lines, so, for example, it says that top-level functions and classes definitions should have two blank lines and things like that. Um, so, I'm not going to go through this. Uh, you can have a look yourself. It's not a very dense read, as you see. Uh, it's, it's short paragraphs, mostly. And if you have any doubts about how something should be done, uh, it's very likely to be in here. So I'm going to show you an example instead and some tools Spider has to help you write uh, clean code. So I have a program here that uh, runs fine. Um, and what it does is gets information of a rectangle, so has gets the two sides, calculates um, the area with this function called calc, and then there is a maximum area, uh, and if the area of our rectangle is over that, then it does something, and otherwise it, it does uh, prints something else on the screen. So very simple. And in principle, there are no warnings here, and it runs fine, so we, we could be happy with it. But um, Spider has a few tools that can help us realize if we are not being compliant with uh, PEP8. So let's uh, enable this. So if we go to Tools and Preferences, and now we click here in editor. Uh, so the first thing is uh, show vertical line after 79 characters. So that is this line here. So one of the things uh, that PEP8, PEP8 uh, says is that lines shouldn't be over 80 characters. So for example, we already know that this one is, so we'll have to do something about it. Um, but there, there is more. Um, so if we, we go to code analysis, here in the analysis part, uh, there are two very interesting options. The first one is real-time code analysis. This will um, point you to likely errors that you have in your code or variables unused, things like that. So let's check that. And then the real-time code style analysis, which is checking you for compliance with PEP8. So if you click here, actually, you can go to the guideline. So it's not the pretty version, it's the of official one but it has all the, all the same. So you have a link there. And then if we go to advanced settings, we should also check that here in indentation we have four spaces, which is what is recommended in uh, PEP8. So by default, it should be four. So let's apply this. And you see that already we have loads of uh, warning symbols here. And these are more most likely to, to do with, uh, with PEP8. So there is something else we can do. So if we go to view, uh, pans, and then we go to static code analysis, this window here will open. And um, so this is for another file. So you have to click open here and look at the file you have. So in my case, it's improving format. So this one that has not been rated, but it very quickly will do it. And it gives you a mark out of 10. So we are in negative marks now. Uh, and here it has loads of uh, messages of, of things that are, that are wrong. But before that, uh, there are things that uh, are not strictly don't have strictly to do with PEP8, but you should always do. So the first one is the name of the variables and functions. So here we have two variables for the sides of the 
rectangle, and these are not very good names, side and side B. Um, side could be fine, but you shouldn't start really saying things like side B. So we can put things that are a bit more informative. So we could put width and height. And uh, bear in mind that uh, when you um, when you change the name of a variable, you should change it uh, all the way through where it's uh, where it's been used. And the same for height. This a this could be better to call it area because that's uh, what it is. So let's change it all the way through as well. And now let's save. And when you save, um, normally if you if you keep saving, it will remove some warnings that you are uh, fixing. So the first one here is that um, it says it expected two blank spaces and found uh, one. So that's easy to fix. As we read before, we need two blank spaces there. So here it says a uh, trailing white space. So what that means is that there is white space in there, you can't see it. So if you remove that, it will uh, remove uh, that warning. And uh, if we have this in more places, like blank line contains white space here, so all these can be fixed at once by clicking source, remove trailing spaces. So you click in there, you save, and you see that we removed many um, white spaces at once, so many warnings. Um, let's um, look at the next one. So too many blank lines. So in the code, it's fine to separate things, but with one, only one blank line. So that's disappeared. And here we have three errors in this line. So it says missing white space after a comma. So after commas, you should always have a space like that. In this case, we are not going to um, need that because we also have the error that the line is too long. So we are over this. So the, you can check the rules to break lines in Python. But the rule of thumb is that when you have something in parentheses, you can just not care much about it and break the line. But you should keep the indentation where the parenthesis was, like the previous word. So you can do that with these two. I'm going to go copy this because it's the same here. And now we don't have the warning anymore. So for, uh, now for our function calc, we expect the two blank lines, we got one, so we have to first remove this blank space. Oops, sorry, there's actually none, this is from the height. So let's put two with no white space. So one, two. And uh, calc is not a good name uh, because we could, any function could be called uh, calc. So this is calculating the area of a rectangle. It's actually a nice documentation on this one, which we will have to put in there later. So let's say rectangle area. And let's call it like that. And here we have another warning. So this is underlined. So there must be a problem with that. And it says the local variable max size is signed but never used. So actually, to calculate the area, we don't need this. This might be because we were doing something else before. We forgot to uh, remove it. But that's not needed. It's not used. So let's just remove it. So here, we don't have white space around the operators, around the equal sign. So equal sign should always have a space before and after. But actually, this variable area is only used to be returned. So actually, we don't need that. So we can directly return this expression. So let's remove it. So here, 
already see we have three spaces we should only have two let's see that and the last one it says there is no new line at the end of the file so all files should end up with a with an empty line like that so if we save so we are done with all this um, let's now run this other analysis so the, what you see here on the left and what you see here these are complementary things so hopefully we have improved so we have a 750 now out of 10 so it's still not great so we have three convention uh, problems so the first now uh, one is that we have unnecessary uh, uh, parentheses after the if so in Python you don't need this um, when you have a condition you just put it like that which is easier to read so if the area is greater than maximum area we are done we don't have a function doc string, so this is so this is a doc string. So the way you put doc strings is with three single quotation marks. Then you put a, a small description. So uh, check if a rectangle area is over a given parameter, and now. We should leave one empty and uh, say something else if we want it, like we, we did um, down here. But in this case, this is enough. This is a very simple function, so we can just uh, close the comment there. Let's remove that white space. And then max area is not a good name. So the convention is that variables and functions in Python should be named with words separated by um, underscores so in this case we could put max area for example and we have to change it here as well and now let's run it again and now we got 10 out of 10 and we have no warning so this code is compliant there is still maybe a couple of things we can do um, to make it look a bit uh, nicer, a bit easier to read. So let's go ahead and, and put an inline comment here with hash. And let's say these are the parameters of our code. So we explain that to everybody. And let's put them all in there. So this one is a parameter as well for our program. Let's leave a space. Let's remove that space. So now our code is easier to read because it says this is what we are doing. Then we have some parameters that we can very easily change between runs. And we calculate the area. If the area is greater than the maximum area, we do something. Otherwise, we do another thing. And this is the function that calculates the area, which is was already uh, very well documented. So uh, that's it. Um, I haven't uh, covered uh, all the topics in the PEP 8, but as I said, you can just go to this website and read it. Uh, but hopefully this was useful and make sure that you always have these tools enabled on Spider so you can see whether your code is uh, being compliant with the guidelines or not.